Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial again on binomial expansion. In this video, we'll be looking at the binomial theorem. This is lesson four. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on binomial expansion, including Pascal's triangle. So we start with problem one. Problem one, given that two minus half x all to the power of eight is equal to p plus qx plus rx squared, and so on, find the value of p plus q plus r. So we carry out the solution here. And what we do here is we expand up till three terms, the first three terms in ascending powers of x. Then we get the constant here, the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x squared. So we go. The power here is 8. So our first term is going to be 8 combination 0, 2 raised to power 8. So the second term inside the bracket is not coming in this time around. Then we go to the next term, plus 8 combination 1, 2 raised to power 7. Remember the power of these two is decreasing. While the power of negative half x will be increasing. So half x will come in. So negative half x raised to power 1. Then plus 8 combination 2. Then 2 raised to power 6. And negative half x squared. And so on. So we then simplify the coefficients. So 8 combination 0 is 1. 2 raised to the power 8 is 256. Since the power of negative half x is odd, so the negative here will be maintained. Multiplying it by this positive, we have it as minus 8, since 8 combination 1 is 8. 2 raised to the power 7 gives 128, then half x. The minus has been taken to multiply this. So we are there. Then plus 8 combination 2 is 28. Then 2 raised to the power 6 is 64. Remember the power here is even. So the negative here will be returned as positive. So half x squared will be 1 over 4x squared and so on then simplifying we have this as 256 then this is half times 128 which will give us 64 times 8 we give us minus 512 x then this is 64 times 1 quarter will give us 16 times 28 we give us plus 448x squared and so on. Now, we it is very clear now that our P is 256. Our Q will be negative 512, which is the coefficient of X. And finally, our R, which is the coefficient of X squared, is 448. So adding them up, so we are going to have our P, which is 256, plus negative 512, becomes minus 512, then plus 448. So this is simplified to give us 192. That is the end of solution to problem one. We then go to problem two. For problem two, we have to expand x squared plus 1 over x all to the power of 9 as far as the term in x raised to the power 9. So to solve this problem, um, we are going to be technically evaluating the powers 
so that when we get to x raised to power 9 we'll be able to stop and um, there is little calculation one would have done but this is not necessary here the first term is going to be 9 combination 0 x squared to the power of 9 and this is supposed to be 1 over x raised to power 0 which you see give us 1 so it is not necessary there we then go to the next term which is going to be 9 combination 1 then x squared raised to power 8 then 1 over x raised to power 1 remember we are going to have 16 minus 1 which is 15 so we are not there yet then next term is going to be 9 combination 2 which is x squared raised to power 7 then 1 over x squared so this is going to be 14 minus 2 which will give us 12 so we have not reached our destination we go further plus 9 combination 3 then x squared raised to power 6 then 1 over x raised to power 3 this is going to give us 12 minus 3 and 12 minus 3 is 9 so we are stopping here although it continues but we are going to stop here since we are looking for the term in x raised to power 9 and 2 times 6 gives 12 this is going to give us negative 3 so 12 minus 3 will give us 9 so this is the term we are going to stop here then we simplify this is 9 combination 0 gives 1 this is going to give us x raised to power 18 plus 9 combination 1 gives 9 this is x raised to power 16 into x raised to power negative 1 plus 9 combination 2 gives 36 this is going to give us x raised to power 14 then x raised to power negative 2 you see remember your indices then plus 9 combination 3 gives 84 then x squared raised to power 6 that's going to give us 2 times 6 which is going to give us x raised to power 12 and this will give us x raised to power negative 3 and so on so simplifying finally we have x raised to power 18 plus 9 x raised to power 15 that is 16 minus 1 gives 15 then plus 36 x raised to power 12 14 minus 2 then plus 84 x raised to power 9 12 minus 3 gives 9 and so on this is our destination the final step for the solution of problem 2 so we go to problem 3 for problem 3 expand 1 minus 2 over x all to the power of 13 as far as the term in x raised to power negative 4 so in our solution we are going to be generating each of the terms and inspect if we are going to have negative 4 at a particular term then we stop there so this is the easier way for now so from here we have uh, the first term to be 13 combination 0 then 1 raised to power 13 we go to the next term that's going to give us 13 combination 1 1 raised to power 12 then the second term comes in here that's negative 2 over x raised to power 1 plus 13 combination 2 1 raised to power 11 this is negative 2 over x squared and our inspection we are going to have negative 2 here so we continue plus 13 combination 3 1 raised to power 10 then minus 2 over x raised to power 3 and uh, this is the final term 13 combination 4 
1 raised to the power 9, then negative 2 over x raised to the power 4. Here we are going to have negative power of 4, so we are stopping here to be continued since we are to stop at the term in x raised to the power negative 4, and this is the term. So simplifying the coefficient, I have 13 combination 1 to give us 1. 1 raised to the power 13, c gives 1. Then the next term is going to be negative because the power here is odd. So we have it as negative 13. Since 13 combination 1 gives 13, and then times 1 into 2 x raised to the power negative 1. If you transform this into indices, so the next term is going to be plus since the power here is even. So 13 combination 2 gives 78 into 1 since 1 raised to the power 11 is 1. Negative 2 over x squared will give us 4x raised to the power negative 2. The next term is going to be negative because the power here is odd. So 13 combination 3 gives 286 into 1. Then 2 over x raised to the power 3 will give us 8x raised to the power negative 3 plus, it is going to be plus because this is even. So 13 combination 4 gives 715 into 1, then 2 over x raised to the power 4 gives 16 x raised to the power negative 4, and so on. So we simplify out the final coefficients. This is going to give us 1. Negative 13 times 2 will give us minus 26 x raised to the power negative 1, then plus 78 times 4 gives 312 x raised to the power negative 2 minus 286 times 8 gives 2288 x raised to the power negative 3 then plus 715 times 16 is 11,440 x raised to the power negative 4 and so on and uh, we have gotten to our final destination for the expansion of the problem represented in problem 3. Then we go to problem 4. For problem 4, find the term in x raised to the power 5 in the expansion of each of the following. So we are starting with a part of the problem. And if you look at the two problems represented, the, we need the solution of A to help us in the solution of B. So the explanation will go further thereafter. So for A, 2 minus 3x all to the power of 7. Since we are interested in the term x raised to the power 5, it is going to be 7 combination 5. So it is the term with 7 combination 5. So we go, the term in x raised to the power 5 will be 7 combination 5. Then the first term here is 2. So we have 2 raised to the power 2. 7 minus 5 gives 2. Then negative 3x raised to the power 5. So simplifying this, 7 combination 5 gives 21 into 4 since 2 squared is 4 then this is going to give us negative negative 3 raised to the power 5 will give us negative 243 x raised to the power 5 so if you can see now this is x raised to the power 5 and we are looking for x raised to the power 5 so multiplying this out 21 times 4 times negative 243 gives negative 20,412 x raised to power 5. The term in x raised to power 5 in the expansion of the problem in A is negative 20,412 x raised to power 5. 
then we go to db part for db part um it is just as good as using this to multiply this but since if we continue the term in x is going to be two terms to be added together so those terms now are going to be three multiplying by the term in x raised to power five since it is a constant so we have it as three into seven combination five two raised to power two times negative three x raised to power five plus the term in x raised to power five to be multiplied by x over two so we are going to have it as negative x over two into seven combination four two raised to power three then negative three x raised to power four so these are the two terms if we actually go into full expansion these are the two terms that will be in x raised to power 5 to be added together so expanding and adding we are going to since we already have this 3 times 20,412 will just give us 61,236 x raised to power 5 since this is positive negative that will be minus um, x over 2 into 7 combination 4 is 35 into 8 then 3 raised to power 4 gives 81 so that's going to give us positive since the power is even so we are going to have 81 x raised to power 4 then we now use x over 2 to expand or multiply what we have here and that will give us negative 61,236 x raised to the power 5 minus 22,680 x raised to the power 5. Remember this x times x raised to the power 4 gives the x raised to the power 5. So simplifying this, we are going to have our final answer as negative 83,916 x raised to the power 5 as the term in x raised to the power 5 in the expansion of the problem in B. So that is the end of solution to problem 4. We then go to problem 5.